Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we ain't got connection. I think about you. Good morning. It feels good to be outside. The last two days I've been doing indoor walking videos. Sunday, um, as I told you guys last week, I have to go to the airport. And so I did not get a chance to get my walk in. So I did after we got home. And I, um, after my husband went to work, I went ahead and just did it, then did an indoor one. And then yesterday, because I did not get a chance to meal prep on Sunday, I, and I also had to leave early. Since I worked from home all week, I wanted to get there a little bit early to get my computer all set up because we have laptops. So I needed to get it all set up on my little like hub thing. So, um, and because I didn't meal prep, I had to make breakfast and make me something for lunch to have at lunchtime. So I knew I wouldn't have enough time. So then last night when I got home from work, after I did my meal prepping, which I did record for you, um, you'll probably see that before this video actually, um, I did a 30 minute Leslie Sandstone walking video, which I got like 1.59 miles in or something like that. So I'm still getting it in. I was just talking about on my Instagram that I really need to invest in some good walking shoes. Um, I think there's two things that are causing my knee to start hurting again. One of them I'm being, I think, is the shoes. And then secondly, the drive to the airport. My knee has been feeling the best since we went back to work because I've been getting so much activity in. And it was feeling really good last week, even though I worked from home because I walked every day. But um, I think that the drive to the airport, my knee had to be in a weird position. I don't have like the best like foot room in my car. And I just thought about something. You know what? My husband drove my car on Saturday because he took us through the car wash. I have car wash anxiety. I do not like to try to line up on that thing. Plus I'm always afraid my stuff might break. So I don't do the car wash, <laughs> but, and he had to adjust the, I have longer legs. He's taller than me, but I have longer legs than him. And so um, he had moved my seat. So I bet when I didn't move it back. So I have a feeling that that's why my knee hurts because I bet I was more crunched up than normal and didn't even notice it. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Anyway, so my knee's hurting. It has been hurting since Sunday. Um, but I do think it's shoes also. I think I need to invest in a good pair of shoes. I don't like to spend a lot of money on shoes because I love to have a lot of shoes because I like to wear, I like to mix them up and wear different shoes every day. And so I just don't, and I've never really been this much into walking. So I really never had to invest in a good pair of walking shoes, but I need to do that. Okay, mile done for Tuesday. My air fryer is so loud. Alrighty, what time is it? 7.14. I have got to get going. I'm gonna make some coffee. So I have the La Cologne cold brew. I'm gonna do some of the vanilla caramel cream. This one's my favorite. Caramel nut pods. This will be my coffee. I have a breakfast sandwich in the um, air fryer, which you would have already seen that video. It's a bagel breakfast sandwich. And then I'm gonna take one of these um, what are these ones? Dan and Light and Fit in the lemon meringue. I love the lemon ones. I do that and then I'll be off to work. And here's my breakfast. Um, I'll try to remember to take a little photo of this after I open it. Um, but if I forget, just go over and check out my meal prep video that I posted a couple days before you see this video and you'll see how I made those. For lunch, I'm having two of my chicken tacos, a peach. I'm having some of this chunky guacamole from Trader Joe's um, with my tacos. If you want to see how I made these tacos, check out the meal prep video that went right up before this one. For dinner tonight, I'm making a veggie turkey skillet. So here I have some minced garlic, some broccoli, zucchini, and some onion. I just chopped all those up. That's one full zucchini, one head of broccoli, and about a half of a cup of onion. And this is going to go into a skillet. So here I have a little bit of avocado oil in my skillet and I just put in the veggies in there. I am just gonna cook those until they are just a little bit crisp tender. Um, I added Italian herbs and onion salt in to the veggies to add a little bit of flavor. You wanna flavor every layer. I removed those out, added in the ground turkey. So this is just the 93, 7% turkey. Again, I added Italian herbs and onion salt to that. And then when that's all done, you wanna go ahead and add your vegetables back in and just give that a good stir. And then we're adding in a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. 
And I'm just gonna put all that in there and stir it up really well and then just heat it up and get everything, all the flavors combined really well. So I cooked it for about 10 minutes or so, um, just to get all the flavors combined. And then I added on a half of a cup of the reduced fat Colby Jack cheese from Lucerne and just sprinkled that on top and just kind of let it naturally melt. And this is what it looks like. You guys, this stuff was so tasty. I am gonna definitely have this. This will be really good for leftovers as well. So I ended up having five servings of this. Well, I didn't have five servings. It made five servings. So this morning I did not start my day off with a walk because I knew I was not going to have time to eat anything while I was sitting at my desk at work. We have our new hire orientation today for all the new hires that are starting school year. We have one today and one tomorrow. So today's though starts right at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow's going to start till 10 so I'll have a little bit more time in the morning. So as soon as I get to work I have to like get right to work. So I can't eat a yogurt, can't eat my breakfast sandwich so I'm going to need to do all that before I leave. Um, but I don't, I'm not really super hungry, so I'll eat my breakfast sandwich probably on my way to work, but I don't want to eat a yogurt or anything, so I'm going to make a protein coffee. So I'm going to use half of this Premier Protein. I'm using kind of a smaller cup, um, and then I have a, probably what's left of this cold brew in here. I have a couple more of these in the refrigerator, so if I need to get more, I'll get more. As far as my mile today, I will be um, doing a walk-at-home video when I get off work today. I have those, like, um, on my, like, in a playlist on YouTube just so I can go grab one real quick and still get my mile in for the day. Even if it's not outside, it'll be inside. And here we go. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, there is a new Bones coffee flavor. It's peaches and cream. I'm actually going to order that before I leave for work while I'm waiting for my sandwich to get done um, because that sounds amazing. You guys know I love Bones coffee. I always have a link where I'll save you guys. I think it's $5 off of your um, first order, um, but you guys, our coffee is really good. My breakfast sandwich is all done. Ooh, that's a little bit hot. I don't recommend doing that. So this will be my breakfast with my protein coffee. I was thinking I may go ahead and bring a yogurt with me just in case. Yesterday I was super hungry for some reason. So I may bring one and just put it in my refrigerator at work. And then that way I have it for maybe after our meeting today if I want something else. So I think I will grab one and do that. Um, so this will be my breakfast and I will see you guys at lunchtime. So I may not have got my mile in this morning, but let me show you how much walking around I have done this morning. Look at that. 1.37 miles just this morning walking around with this new hire thing. For lunch today, I made just a really super chicken salad with some of the dill pickle mustard I pick up at Trader Joe's, which was really good. A little bit of mayo and then just some shredded chicken on a piece of sourdough bread with a yogurt. Hey guys, it is 5.15. I just got home from work. My husband just left for work. It is one of those days for sure. I knew today was going to be a crazy day and it was uh, mainly because like uh, the first half of our day was really wrapped up with the new hire orientation. We had two different sessions to do. Tomorrow we have one more, but it's going to be all virtual tomorrow. Um, but I showed you guys, I think a snapshot like a 1040, which was right before um, finishing up the second session. That was after I was done with my part of the second session and it was just somebody else's part and then I had to go close it up. Um, but I got 1.18 of that miles between 7.30 and 8 when I got there and I was running around getting things set up. We were having technology issues even though I checked it all yesterday and was all perfect yesterday. But yeah, I got 1.18 miles in before it even started and then I ended up with a 1.37 by the time the second session was done and now let me tell you <laughs> I have 2.31 miles and that's just from being at work today um, with all the running around I had to do so I am NOT gonna do a walking video tonight I am exhausted I've had a long day um, mentally and physically and I am wiped out I feel like I earned my mile today because I knew I was running around like crazy um, tomorrow I will be at home and so I definitely will um, do my walk in the morning as long as, I will go outside as long as our um, air quality is a lot better. Let me go show you the outside. It is insane. Can you all see that? You can barely see the mountains over there. It is so crazy. It's been like this since about, I don't know when it started when I left at noon today to go to lunch. Um, this is how it was. So if it's still like that out there in the morning, I am definitely not going to go out. Even with a mask on, I don't want to have to walk with a mask. And so I will just do an indoor workout in the morning if um, if it's still like that outside. 
I think the air index now is up to 290 something and earlier was like 163 so it's definitely getting bad it's not as bad as it was last year last year we were in the 400s and i'd never seen anything so high but the fire was closer last year i think honestly like the smoke that we're getting right now is from the california fires because they're they're pretty bad down there and they're um close to kind of close to the oregon border one of them is in started in oregon and it's going into california so it is bad out there but it always is here we always have wildfires all around us but it is just nasty out there for dinner tonight i think i'm just going to do leftovers i have leftover sheet pan chicken and sweet potato broccoli bowls and then i have the leftover veggie turkey skillet from last night um so i think i'm going to go ahead and eat some of those tonight one of those tonight that way i um, can eat it up and then tomorrow for lunch i'll probably have one of those as well and then tomorrow night i will go ahead and make another sheet pan meal, I think for dinner, as long as everything goes well, but I want to get those leftovers, you know, eaten up for sure. Um, what else? I got the Ulta order in. I may show that to you guys. Just had to, re it's just replenishing a few things. Um, I think that's all I have to share right now. Oh, let me tell you guys, I tried this, um, on Monday, the day I did not record. Um, this is the Trader Joe's dark chocolate coffee buzz bars. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Um, if you really like the taste of coffee, I mean, it tastes like coffee. It is so insanely good. Um, they're only 130 calories for this bar. It, I can't even tell you, the chocolate itself too is so smooth, it's so creamy. Um, there are seven added sugars. So not a whole lot. I feel like that's not a lot for a chocolate bar, um, but yeah really good so if you go to your Trader Joe's check these out the, the clerk had told me that they were really good and she was right and I think this was only like a dollar 99 I mean it was really really affordable um, but yeah I had one of these on Monday really good for dinner tonight I'm gonna do leftovers I'm gonna be doing the veggie uh, turkey skillet meal so easy one pot meals are the best are they not especially when they make good leftovers and this stuff makes excellent leftovers has so much flavor with the fire roasted uh, tomatoes and the onion salt and Italian herbs, so good, affordable. It's such a cheap meal also. And like I said, you get five really good sized servings out of this and a ton of protein. I mean, the protein really packs a punch in this. Um, so I'm gonna have a serving of this and then we're gonna do a taste test here a little bit later after dinner. You guys, honestly, my hair and my face totally give away what kind of day I'm having. You know, I don't hardly have any issue with my makeup falling off of my face on a regular day. I mean, I use um, a really good setting spray. I like makeup, so I do spend some money on makeup and it stays on my face. But I swear when I'm having those days when I'm so busy and running around like crazy, it just falls off my face. And that's how I feel like this is done today. It just now hit 100 degrees and it is, what time is it? It is 6.45. It's, the heat is still climbing. I'm thinking that the air... No, the air still looks just as bad. I thought maybe the air was clearing up, so it's getting warmer, but temperature just keeps climbing. It was 97 at five o'clock when I got home. So we are going to try, um, are they still good? Okay. I have some carrots here and I didn't know if they're still good or not. I want to try it with this, but I don't know if I've had these before. These are the fig and olive crisp from Trader Joe's. I'm trying all these Trader Joe things, these newer things, so I can tell you what I feel about them. Oh, let me go grab one more thing and tell you um, I already tried it and I'll let you know what I think about it. This, you all seriously have to go get this from Trader Joe's if you can go to Trader Joe's. This is the dill pickle mustard. I put this in my chicken salad yesterday. It is so good. What I did was I put this in there first and then I added in only a teaspoon of mayo for the whole big thing of um, chicken salad, which made like three servings. One of those big cans of chicken salad, I usually split those within like three servings. And so I did mostly this and you guys know I love mustard and the smell of this it's so good but it really is like i mean if you put like pickle relish in your tuna salad or your chicken salad like i do normally i did not have any pickle relish so this was a good substitute but this is yummy but what we are going to try is the dill pickle hummus yes we have a theme here i'm gonna try it with carrots because i figure i'll try it with these olive fig and olive crisp but i don't think it's gonna be very good with those see this is what i like about this dill pickle flavored stuff. 
they are doing this so well. The dill pickle flavor is there, but it's there in a way that is pleasing and pleasant, but not overpowering. And I have had, I mean, you guys know, I've tried a ton of dill pickle flavor stuff over the years because I love them. And sometimes it's just not done very good. It's just, it's too overpowering, too strong. But this stuff is done so well. You have got to pick this up too. It is really good. I'm just gonna try it with this, um, with the fig and olive crisp, just to see. Mmm. I miss those. Those are really good. I want to maybe try these. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to try those. What I bought um, to go along with the fig and olive crisp, though, um, is this peach salsa. This stuff is so, so, so good. So I will definitely be having some of this um, later this week. I just do a little bit of this and dip these um, crisps in here. These are really good. They're 90 calories for 11 crackers. So not bad at all. But this stuff is so good. Okay, let's, let's just go ahead. I mean, we're taste testing some stuff. So let's go ahead and try these sweet and spicy pickle chips and onions. And I'm embarrassed to say that I think all of my utensils are in the dishwasher because I didn't do the dishes for a few days. Okay, let me first smell this. Okay, first off, I'm not a fan of like bread and butter pickles because they're kind of sweet and I have a feeling that's what these are gonna kind of be like, but I could not resist. I just had to try and they do smell kind of sweet. Whoa, wow, that is spicy. Okay, y'all know I love the spice, so it's fine for me. But if you cannot handle spice, I'm not instant burn my tongue, instant. Mm. The flavor's good though. It has enough spice where it kind of kicks off that sweet a little bit. I don't like the bread and butter pickles because it's just all sweet, but these are spicy, so those of you who do not like spicy things, don't get these. But if you have spouses or yourself and you love the spice, pick these up because they will love them. They, these are good, so good. But you definitely can't overdo it on these. Your mouth, my mouth is on fire with two little, two little chips. My mouth is on fire. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to review right now. So I told you, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. This is a keeper, definitely a keeper. And I've had this and this many times, definitely a good, good snack. I am going to make a breakfast scramble. So I have one of these spicy jalapeno chicken sausages. Um, these are medium size eggs, so I'm gonna do three of them. I have some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, a couple of the mini peppers, and then I slice up the sausage. I have a little bit of reduced fat cheese here, and then I'm gonna have a peach on the side. And then I have my coffee. So here is my finished breakfast scramble, my peach, and if I'm still hungry, I'll have a yogurt or something, but I think this is enough protein to keep me full until lunchtime. For my lunch today, I'm going to just make myself a salad with this spring mix and some of this lunch meat and avocado um, and trying out this honey barbecue ranch, which by the way is really good. I am also making one of the reduced guilt mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. I just, I don't know, wanted something like comfort food and I just wasn't super hungry. So this is my lunch for the day. For a little snack, I'm gonna have some of this peach smoky salsa from Trader Joe's and some of the fig and olive crisps. This is one of my favorite snacks um, that I get from Trader Joe's. Hey guys, it is 5.15. I am still working off the clock. I am just so behind on my emails and it's making me like feel anxious. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit of time just to organize my emails. Um, my husband just left for work. If he knew I was doing this, he would not be happy. He does not like this stuff, but I just, I get very anxious about thinking I forgot something or didn't do something. And I just wanna go through my emails just to, just to set up tomorrow, tomorrow being Friday. I always like to end my week just on track and um, you know everything ready to go for the next week when it comes to like my emails and my work and stuff. And I just don't know if I'll have the time to do that tomorrow if I don't kind of do a little bit of pre-work today. 
and today was just so busy. I did not get a chance to even look. I just reacted to emails as they came in, but I know I have some sitting there that I need to address. So I'm just going to do some organization and, um, and whatnot. And then I'm going to go make dinner. You guys, I did not sleep well last night at all. Let me tell you what I think is going on. This has been a pretty hectic last couple of weeks at work. And I knew it would be. August is like probably our number one busiest month of the year. And it's just all the new hires coming on for all the districts we support plus our agency. And there's been so many like changing um, positions changing, people resigning, people being hired. And I think a lot of it in the districts is due to COVID and just administration change. And um, for us, it's just a little bit of everything and new positions coming up. And it's just been, it's been very, very hectic. And I don't think I'm like taking care of myself in ways like drinking enough water and getting the activity. And so this week, well, this month, so we're 11 days, 12 days, it's August 12th. Today is the first day I'm not getting my mile in. And let me tell you why. For one, I was going to go this morning. I was gung-ho to go this morning, even though I only got a few hours sleep last night. I thought it may just make me feel good, fresh air. I look outside, I can't even see the hillside. The smoke is so was so strong and so dense that I could not see it. I did not see myself like wanting to wear a mask and going for a walk. I just knew I wouldn't want to do that. You know, we have to wear a mask everywhere we go. I don't want to wear one when I'm going for a walk in the outdoors. And I just, I knew I would not be able to get myself to do the walking video today. Just did not get enough sleep. Um, so I changed that back in the activity. And one thing I think I have really, really neglected these last couple of weeks is getting my water in. I know I've been turning to diet sodas too much and coffee. Those are the two things that I have been drinking the most is coffee and diet sodas. And it hasn't really been more than like maybe two diet sodas a day and not even every day, but I've had one every single day and sometimes twice a day. And coffee, I've been drinking a ton more coffee than I have in a long, long time and not enough water. And I think it's just because I'm getting really stressed and what I really want is to gravitate towards like food, you know, to like drown in my sorrows. But for some reason, um, lately it's been like drinks, you know, diet soda and, and coffee has been what I've been wanting instead of food, which I guess is a good thing in a way that I'm not turning to food to kind of comfort me, you know, when I'm stressed and to ease my anxiety and that kind of thing but I'm just not drinking as much water. And then yesterday, the main deal yesterday was I knew I was running around so much that if I drank a bunch of water, I literally would not be able to get up from my desk to go to the restroom because I was presenting and my presentation, part of the presentation for new hires is the longest of anyone's. And I knew if I had drank a bunch of water, then I would, I couldn't leave in the middle of my presentation. And it's like an hour long, the presentation part that I do. So I just, and then I was running around it before that. So I don't even think I finished an entire like thing of my water, which is a 20 ounce, 28 ounce. Um, it's this one right here actually, which today that's all I finished. Like I finished one and that's it. Um, I just can't get my water in. And so last night I was up all night with the most terrible pain in my kidneys, the most terrible pain. And I'm sure it's because I am not getting enough water in. I've never had a kidney infection before, never had any kidney issues before. My kidney tests always come back really, really well. Kidneys and liver, um, my doctor tests me for those. Every time I go in to the doctor, every six months when I do my thyroid testing, he also does my kidneys and liver. I'm not sure why he's just, he's really into that stuff. Um, and they've always been really good. Never, ever had any issues. So I just think it's just the lack of water the last two weeks and I just need to get it in. So I'm really gonna really, really going to focus on that because I was in so much pain. It, it was hurting so bad on both sides of my back um, and a little bit in my in front on my right side. And then today, and I had a little bit of a temperature at a 99 degree temperature. And that might've just because I was getting super tired at the end of the day, because I was checking it throughout the night. The last time I looked at my clock, it was 2.30 in the morning. My husband also had a super long night. He ended up working 12 hours because he had to do an extra drop off and um, he didn't even get off the yard 
until like 8.30 because he was helping with um, route trucks and stuff. And so he had a really long night. He didn't get home till 5.30 this morning. I set three alarms, 4.45, 5 o'clock and 5.30. Tell me if you set more than one alarm because I know I can't be the only one. And so my third one went off at 5.30. So when he came in, I looked at my phone and it said like 5.26 and it said snooze on there. I don't even remember my first two alarms going off. I had, and both of them were snoozing. No recollection of that at all. So that's how tired I was. So I got about three hours sleep. So it's probably okay that I'm not worrying about getting that activity in. I just need to get some sleep. I got a lot of reading done, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish going through some of these emails and then I'm going to um, go make dinner. So I kind of came up with a different idea for dinner. It's kind of the same, but what I did was I looked in my fridge to see what I had left over. So I have this amount of broccoli left. I have a whole zucchini that I need to eat up because it's not gonna last through the week. I have an onion and then I have these potatoes that are already, you know, I need to use those up. Chicken that I took out yesterday and didn't use. And so I'm gonna use some of this rice cauliflower and mix it with the brown rice. So I'm gonna throw, actually I'm gonna th mix these together, throw them on the sheet pan, cut this up there on the sheet pan, throw this on the sheet pan, cut some onion up and throw them on there, cut these probably in quarters, and then put the chicken on the sheet pan. So all of this will be on the sheet pan. And I'm gonna try out the citrusy garlic seasoning blend. Thought this sounded super good. I think this will go really good with the chicken and the veggies. So I'm gonna um, toss everything in that and I'll show you what my sheet pan looks like before it goes in the oven. Sheet pan meal getting ready to go in. So I have mixed up the um, brown rice with the cauliflower rice, put in a little bit of the citrusy garlic. Then I cut up some of the onion and the whole zucchini and then all that broccoli, tossed it together. Again, put some of that seasoning on there. Cut up some of the potatoes and added the seasoning and then cut the chicken tenders up into little cubes. I'm gonna put this into a 400 degree oven for probably about 20 minutes or so until the chicken is cooked through. Sheet pan meal is done. I love to put rice and cauliflower rice in the oven because it makes it all nice and toasty and just adds a different layer layer of flavor to it. So my veggies, my chicken, my potatoes, I'm gonna go throw this into my, uh, while it's cooling down, I'm gonna go put it into my Lose It app, the recipe, so that while I still have all the grams and everything in my mind, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll dish it up and show you my finished bowl. And here is dinner.